I mean, to be fair, going back on the old self-employed, really what they should do, if you're just by yourself, yeah, you should be all right, shouldn't you? Keeping the two metres distance and all that sort of stuff. If you're working in the garden, not somebody's garden, yeah? Or doing some work or whatever, by yourself, even if there's two people, because you can keep yourselves apart, just like you would do if you were going for a walk, yeah? So you can go for a walk and not earn and starve, if you're an unemployed bricky, you know what I mean? But you can't go to work and stay two metres apart, but you can go in the park. So if I was a bricky, got turned that down, because it just says loads of self-employed two people working together can stay two metres apart. They've got measurements, they've got tape measures, a lot. They'd probably be able to do it far, far more accurately than everybody else. Yeah, they'll probably get told to stop working, so then they go, you're able to walk around the park without your, your ruler, yeah, and all your measurements, with people that don't know measurements and stuff, and all the rest of it, yeah? So in theory, if there's two people, or one person who's self-employed, has a construction or whatever, handyman, you know, it's better for them to be at work, is it not, with a ruler, than to start starving, to then walk around the park, with less rulerage, yeah? And if there's four of them, I'm sure between them, they've got a ruler, a few rulers between them, take measures to work out stuff. Right, you start doing that in the world, you start doing that in the world, you two do over there with cement and the other person over there, you know, pick up the bloody shite and put it over there. You're not just two metres away from each other, you're like 10, 15 foot from each other all the time, you leave apart from lunch times. All you've got to do is say lunch times, just sit where you are apart from each other and have your sandwiches two metres apart from each other. There. Why put them up in the dole to blink and then not get the dole and whatever's going on to then they walk around parts where they can be less measured. Yeah, I'll repeat myself because it's all getting a bit too uh, thingy, especially when people don't do the drills around the place anyway. You know what I mean? It's, you're trying to stop it from one way direction and yet it's just breeding like buggery in the other direction because people, even in shops and all the rest of it, don't know the self personal drills. They're touching the hair with the blinking gloves. People are touching them, don't those lines on the floor or not stood far apart from the cash deal person. You know what I mean? Because they then give you the money back. It's not all about money anyway, because you'd then be pressing a blinking numerical thing where your card is in anyway, where other people are touched. It just doesn't add up. 